Oh, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tuning episode. Last episode, we tuned that in the background right there. Absolute beast. It's like a Merc Jeep. And oh my god, it actually performed really well. It was very stable. So if you haven't checked that out, I recommend you do go check that out. Uh, sorry that I'm not replying to comments, but I am on holiday right now. So I grinded out these videos for you guys uh, to be uploaded when I'm away. Um, so apologize if I don't reply to comments. But when I'm back on holiday, I will be going through my videos and getting back to you guys. So. Let's go up to our Merc that we just found. Um, where is it? Where is it? Uh, so I went through quite a few cars there. Uh, we haven't got too many left. So this might be a quick press of my randomizer button. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes right now. And I'm going to hope for a very nice car. Come on. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay. This car was beast on Forza 4. The Trans Am, I don't know if it's this version of the Trans Am, but it was an absolute beast on Forza 4. Um, so I am more than happy that we found this car right now. Um, so let's go with like an... Let's go yeah, Let's go with the Shark, the Shark Chief, you know. Go for the Blacked Out Pontiac. Oh my god, I'm actually quite happy with you know, this car that we found. Um, obviously it's not really a car I would have chose to be honest, but... As with this random kind of selection I've got going, we're getting all sorts of cars, which I absolutely love. Uh, it gets you guys some new cars, and if you want to download them off the storefront, etc., um, that you could pull out, and people will be like, "What's that car?" And you'd be like, "Pontiac Trans Am, bro." <laughs> okay, so let's jump into the upgrades right now. Um, it is real drive as stock, um, as stock, um, so we won't be doing that. Um, Aspiration. Uh, we could put chuck a supercharger into this, uh, but it does push up the power a bit. But we're not going to do that. Um, so let's go on to the engine swap. 6.2 V8, and we're going to do that. 455 horsepower. The 6.2 liter V8 on this game is the perfection engine I found for drifting. I love that engine. It just seems to work in any car I chuck it into. It just drifts like an absolute monster. So. Whenever I see that engine, I most likely will swap it in. Um, error and appearance, I'm not upgrading any of that. Tire compound, we're sticking stock. Uh, front tire whips, we can go two, two six fives. Um, on the rears, we should be able to get a little bit higher. A lot higher, okay. Uh, two nine fives, that should be fine. Okay, now onto some nice rims for this. Let's go to the specialized section uh, kind of tempted to go for those um, let's go for those they kind of suit the muscle kind of look I like them so if I like them that's enough <laughs> uh, so let's make the rim size a lot bigger we want to kind of fill that tire wall up a little bit um, 20s just look a little bit too much so let's go 19 inch here uh, just to fill the tyres up very nicely, so a 19 inch on the rear as well. Uh, so this Pontiac is looking fly already. Uh, so in drivetrain, everything in drivetrain will be race. So if you want to race do uh, race through and race everything, <laughs> go ahead and do that um, right now. So I'm kind of happy I got this car to be honest. This car was an absolute beast in Forza 4. It was one of my best cars. Um, so kind of happy to do this especially as it's got one of my favorite en engines of this game in it as well so we should be able to be absolutely gravy right now so stock brakes um, race race uh, suspension which drops the car very nicely onto those wheels that looks really sick okay now on to anti roll bars anti roll bars will be race okay there we go and roll cage Let's roll cage it, why not? We love the stiffness. Well, I love the stiffness in my cars, so it all helps. Um, so that pushes the weight down to 1,300 kilos there. Perfect. Um, so that's about normal weight on this game, um, in these cars. So probably about 600 horsepower should be, should be absolutely fine. So if we chuck exhaust, air filter, and camshafts and see how much that pushes, up, pushes us up to, uh, because camshafts is an absolute monster 565 horsepower right there 
nearly there. Uh, so this chocolate on the flywheel doesn't really do much, it just loses its weight. And intake and throttle body, that's going to be our friend right now. 581, nearly there. I'm uh, just going to pop over the 600 horsepower mark. Uh, 599, and let's just go one more. Let's go 613, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I think that's going to be absolutely sufficient in this car. Seeing as it only weighs 1,300 kilos, it's going to be perfect. Okay, so that's the car. We're going to try and drift this as stock. Um, so let's jump out into the, the real world right now. <laughs> you know that real world. What is it? <laughs> okay, so let's go up um, into my normal area up here at the airfield. Um, I like to tune all my cars up here. Uh, because then I always have the same gear and etc. I have the same gear and I have the same tire spin uh, because it all works for this section. So once I get working for this section, I'll be the same on another section and this, uh, you, you get my point. So every car I like to make sim uh, similar in terms of feeling the wheel and in terms of tire spin. So there's a lot of tire spin there. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try and slide this as stock. Um, it does feel like. It does feel like there's a lot of power in this, which is good. Power is always good. Um, the f wheel feels really light, so we're going to have to down those tyre pressures in the front. Um, the rear feels quite nice though. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Does the gearing feel fine though? I don't know if it does or not. I think it does. So if we leave the gear in where it is for now, but let's just put our normal base tune on the car. See if the base tune kind of hits the spot. Uh, but I am going to down the tire pressures in the in the front there and in the rear just a tiny bit. Gear in I'm going to leave for now. Alignment. Let's up it in the rear and in the front too. Let's go 5.5 caster right there. Okay, anti roll bars. Let's bring up the rear just below at the front springs okay that's quite soft maybe the maybe that's the reason I did spin out a second ago um, I like my cars a lot stiffer than that because um, I don't really use body weight too much I'm more handbrake and you know I'm not really a not really a faint drifter I suppose um, so let's make this a little bit stiffer again uh, that seems fine there differential 100% and 100% okay so let's see how this goes now should be absolutely absolutely grave here and I don't know why I've done that but I did um, <laughs> I just went Bleh. but let's get drifting this now so we've got more camber so it should slide a little bit easier but also we've gone down in tire pressure so That's good, that's okay, okay. Feels very snappy in transitions, which I like. It just feels like it's on ice right now, so I'm gonna take both the tire pressures down. Um, just to see if that solves our issue of just, I don't know, it just feels very, very loose. So if we down the tire pressure on the front to like 24, take this down to like 27.5, see if that, see if that solves how easy it feels in the wheel because when I was turning it just felt like it was on ice there was no kind of resistance at all okay there's a little bit more feeling in the wheel but there's still not still not the normal amount I have on other cars so we're gonna down that tire pressure in the front a little bit more still but once again this engine is absolutely spot on Absolutely spot on. Okay, that felt very nice through there. Uh, once I've down the tire pressures in the front, it should be about fine. Because at the moment it feels very nice. I just want to get, just want to get the um, the steering a little bit more, a little bit more sharper, I suppose. Okay, so let's do that. Let's make this. Uh, we're going to down the tire pressure in the rear as well. So let's go down to 20 on this, let's say. It's very low. It's probably the lowest I've ever been on tire pressure. So 
And you can probably tell how much this actually feels on ice right now, which is it's crazy, it's crazy to be fair, but there is a lot of power and there's not too much weight on the front wheels, um, apart from the engine I suppose, but it just feels very light on the wheel, it's really really weird. I don't know if it's my wheel playing up, but I don't think it's that. I think it's more that this car has got a very, very light feeling in the front front tyres. I, I don't know. Okay, so that is very stable there. The wheel is feeling a lot better. Better. Uh, one thing I will say, be careful on the throttle. Uh, once again, this car has, it's not massive power, but it's got enough power to spin you out, so please be careful with it. Um, it's very snappy in transitions as well, so be on your toes. But when it's sideways, look at it. It screams. I love it. So this could be a new tandem car for me, I think. Um, I might do a couple of more kind of personal settings on this uh, because obviously when making these episodes I don't go too in depth I just want to get tunes out for you guys um, but like personal cars I do like to tune a little bit more and get them into my kind of groove so what I do is basically just put an easy kind of bass tune on cars which kind of suits everyone because everyone also has a different tuning style different drifting style so it's not going to suit everyone um, so please let me know how this do uh, does go how this do go <laughs> um, but yeah it's pretty sick pretty sick car right now uh, so it's got the power it's got the stableness it's crazy stable stableness to be fair for a kind of like a, a muscle car with this much power in it surprised it's actually that stable so really happy with that car really happy with the way it turned out so we're gonna go into tune car right now um, I'm gonna save this setup onto the storefront for you guys um, it's under Pontiac so just buy the car and go to the storefront and basically uh, search for Gamertag which is the same as my YouTube Kevin Toll and you will be able to find this bad boy of a bad boy okay <laughs> I don't even know I don't even know okay so let's share that and we are going to call it a day right there so I hope you guys enjoyed that if you did give it a thumbs up and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.